Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to another Scrap Mechanics Survival episode. Today I have a bit of an idea inspired by you guys in the comments on my last video and I basically want to try and automate a bunch of harvesting features such as harvesting pigment flowers, harvesting corn, and luckily enough I also managed to find some uh, beeswax in the same area so I might be able to automate that as well. That might be a little bit harder because I actually need a spud gun or something to break up the beeswax to begin with, uh, but for that I need to know when it's actually respawned. So that's going to be a bit of a tough one, I might leave that for another episode, but today I'm going to try and automate the pigment flowers and the corn. So my idea is, and I don't know if this is going to work or not, because I feel like I am right on the edge of a chunk. So if I walk this way, you guys see that little stutter? A bit of a stutter? Here, let's try it again. That stutter right there. I'm pretty sure that means that this somewhere right here is uh, edge of the chunk or of the tile. Uh, meaning that if I am at my farm or at my base, everything past this line right here is you know, not going to be active unless I am actually in this area. But, this is the closest pigment flower and corn that I could find to my base, so we're gonna try it anyway. And at the end of the day guys, I'm just experimenting in case other people don't want to, or just want to get the information right away. Uh, I'm also doing it for myself because I'm really curious if I can automate some of this stuff. You know, even if all of this stuff works very, very slowly, um, as long as I don't have to do anything to collect pigment flower and corn, I will be happy. Uh, as you guys can see, I've already collected this guy, and it hasn't grown back, it's been about a day. So I don't know what the respawn time for the pigment flowers is, but hey, I guess one way to find out, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a station here right now for picking up the pigment flowers, and then uh, we'll kind of go from there and see if we can build a corn one as well. But uh, in the last episode, I actually built this guy right here, which uh, was meant to, you know, run over the corn and then pick it up. But the one thing I noticed is that if you're using this for a mobile vehicle, you're not really being very efficient. Like, you can pick up the stuff faster by hand. However, if it's unattended, you know, who cares how slow it is? If it's doing its thing and you don't have to do anything, then that's that's fine by me. Um, this guy was a little bit of a... Uh, what do you call it? Well, let's call it an experiment. <laughs> this ATV actually was electric. I keep crossing the chunk and it keeps lagging. <laughs> so this ATV was electric. I was having some trouble steering. I've since upgraded it to a level 4 engine. It is much, much better. Better, it steers better, you know, like it, it steers better. I can actually like, you know, back up with the trailer like a normal trailer. So if I want to, you know, go towards that red bush, I go this way first. Perfect. And then I can just use it like a regular trailer. Mind you, I still can't back up. You know, I really should play more Euro Truck Simulator, but <laughs> still, you know, it's, it, it's much, much better. And now that we have an abundance of gas, well, it doesn't really matter if I have an electric engine or not. So anyway, I have a bunch of uh, materials on me right now, and I think I'm going to start building this thing. So the whole point is going to be to have one vacuum pump that is constantly on and it cycles between these two pigment flowers. Now, I'm almost wondering if these two pigment flowers are going to be better because they are like on a more equal level surface. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do the flowers there first. And then if it works, I can always up my... Uh, my output by creating another one over here. So, without further ado, without further babbling, I am going to start building and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Alrighty guys, so here's the basic principle for the pigment flower collector. Now, technically, if I hook this up right now to this, it should suck up that pigment flower. Perfect. Okay, so 
uh, I guess now the real test is to just wait. Wait for all this stuff to respawn. Uh, hope that it respawns. And hope that it just, you know, keeps collecting it. So that's all I can hope, guys. <laughs> I'm definitely going to, uh, you know, test that in this video. I'm going to let my game run for a bit and see how many pigment flowers I can actually get. I do have to go look at some houses here in a bit. So it's kind of the perfect opportunity for me to just leave my game running and see what it does in my absence. Obviously, this whole thing could have the suction be like dead on on the plant. But it seems like it's in the vicinity. So that's all that matters. It would be nice to, you know, get all of these other ones here kind of like maximize my production of the or rather collection but if you know if that works then i'm just gonna put one here and you know maybe i'll put one uh just a stationary one above this flower and then you know five flowers might be okay we'll see we'll see so i guess we'll see uh how this guy does in a couple hours and i also want to build something here for the corn now, the corn is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to test something quickly first uh, because I want to see if the corn is... Well, if I can break the corn with regular blocks, like smashing through it type deal. Alrighty, so let's test if this breaks the corn. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Anybody home? Why is this not moving? So odd. Oh, I gotta turn the button on. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, sweet! That does! Okay, excellent. So that breaks the corn. That is good. So that's going to be our uh, quote-unquote corn breaker. And now we just need some, you know, pumps to suck all this stuff up. Now I wonder if... Oh boy, oh boy. Chill, 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 chill. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I have to figure out a way to suck up this corn now. Uh, well, I guess let's place down a chest. Actually, you know what, guys? It's getting dark out. I also have to step away for a bit. So I'm just going to continue this when it's daytime out. I am going to leave my game running, however, so I can see if the pigment flowers get, you know, respawned and recollected. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys then. All right, I kept building as you guys can see. I have a little more time to test, so let's flick this button on. And perfect, our corn gets sucked up. So now we just have to mimic this here. I need more vacuum pumps and vacuum tubes. I kind of underestimated this whole thing. And then we'll have to make an automatic like corn breaker, I guess. We'll probably put it somewhere in the middle and just have it spin around and just break all the corn. Alrighty guys, I figured I might as well test both and see the effectiveness of both. So I'm just going to leave my game running like this and, uh, you know, in a couple hours I'm going to come back and see if, if there's more corn and more pigments. <laughs> I'm just going to throw this in here to make myself feel better. Perfect. Let's remember we have six and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this running. I know my character is going to die, but I'm hoping the game is going to keep running. So I'm just going to just going to pass out somewhere here, you know, just chill. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty guys, back in my truck. I let my game run for about three hours. So let's go see if, uh, you know, if our chests are full or if nothing got picked up or I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what to expect. <laughs> it is nighttime, unfortunately. So maybe I'll wait here. Ah, you know what? By the time I get there, it'll be daylight. So we're good. We're good. I'm really curious to see what's up. Ah, good old daytime. Good old daytime. Okay, let me get my bag here. Oh, my machine's still working. That's good. Okay, now the moment of truth, guys. I mean, both flowers are picked up. They haven't regrown. So let's see how many flowers this thing actually managed to pick up. I'm so nervous to check. All right, all right. Let's just do it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's only seven flowers. <laughs> I mean, it's seven flowers I didn't have to pick up by hand, but it's only seven flowers. Okay, what's going on with the corn here? What? Why are we pumping? 
There we go. Now we're sucking. We weren't sucking the whole time. Why was that off? That was that was off completely. Man, that sucks. Okay, well, that didn't work out. We got a bunch of corn here. I feel like not a whole lot of time went by, guys. You know, three hours in real time went by, but this is, uh, yeah, this is not as much as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Really, that makes sense, though, because I think the respawn timer is only five days for, uh, you know, for the corn and the flowers and stuff. And I think we've only had one and a half cycles pass. So, like, we've had five days pass in-game. That's great. And then we had another two and a half days pass. But, I mean, that only means that only, you know, only one spawn happened. So, not a whole lot going on, guys. I mean... It's working. It's working. It's just a matter of you know, whether it's going to keep working while I'm doing other stuff, you know? I don't know if I'm too far away, because like I said, right about now, yep, we'll get a little stutter, because all my other stuff is loading in, so don't know if this is outside of my tile, don't know if this is going to be automatically working in the background. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. I don't want to move my base just for the sake of having... All my automatic stuff actually work automatically, but hmm. And the thing is, is like placing a chest and a pump over every single flower that I can find is still not going to be that beneficial to me. Because I still have to go around and, co and collect all the flowers, right, from all the chests. So, you know, it would be nice if they either grew faster or, I don't know, yielded more resources? I don't know, but this is... Like, automating stuff doesn't seem to make sense, guys. It just doesn't, because you can go out and you can get stuff way quicker. Like, we have what? We have seven flowers in here, right? I've got uh, three flowers in my inventory, so here, we'll, we'll do this, perfect. And now I can literally run around. There you go, I have one flower already. I can run around, I can collect flowers. Okay, there's no more flowers in this area, okay? I get it, I get it. My example's really bad. But if I'm in an area with a lot of flowers, I mean, I just do a flower run, you know, collect all the flowers and I'm good for a little bit. And even if this is working in the background, it's still not a very significant amount of flowers, guys. Like, it's... I, I left the game running for three hours and I got, like, five flowers out of it. Or whatever. I don't even know. It was very little. Very little. <laughs> so, the question stands, what are we going to do now? I mean, I don't necessarily want to take this down. I don't need the parts. I'm curious to see if this will keep working um, when I'm not in this area. I mean, best we can do is just is just leave it. You know, just leave it and hope that with time, it you know, we get a ton of stuff accumulated. But once again, guys, three hours, I got... Like, nothing. <laughs> so yet again, my uh, attempt at automating something in Scrap Mechanic uh, has yielded unsatisfactory results. But that's okay, because, you know, we're just, we're doing proof of concepts. We're testing things out and kind of seeing what's actually effective and what isn't. Like right here, you know, boom, one flower, two flower, three flower. I have four flowers now in a span of, like, seconds. Versus the, you know, seven flowers that I got in a span of hours. Odd. Very odd. I think, uh, I think something needs to change if we're going to be automating things. Either things need to grow faster. I mean, it'd be nice if we could grow corn and grow plants. And that would make things a whole lot easier. Then we wouldn't need these automatic farms. We would just have a regular farm where we can plant the corn, get a bunch of it in one go, and just call it a day. I was really hoping this would do a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I ain't gonna lie. But you know what, guys? Nothing's really stopping me from just leaving this here. You know, seeing how it fares over time. I'll probably forget about it. And maybe one day I'll remember about it. And I'll actually have some stuff in there. But I doubt it. <laughs> I also feel like it will only work when I'm, like, driving around in this area. So if that's the case that's kind of extra sucky but that's not everybody's situation you know some people may build their bases that are very close to flowers very close to corn so you know for them it might make sense uh, but I think for me it might not so that's that's unfortunate but that's okay I do think the grow rate of five in-game days is a little too much five in-game days is 120 minutes that's quite a bit. That's that, that's quite a bit, you know, like just waiting two hours for things to respawn. Especially if you're only like, you know, maybe playing like an hour or a couple of hours at a time. It, uh, it may feel like forever for things to respawn, but I guess it is what it is. Not sure when all this stuff will respawn. It probably only recently respawned, but it's just... 
man, I really, really wish this was possible. I really wish there was a more efficient way of doing this, but there just isn't, guys. There just isn't. As it stands, you can go and get corn, you can go and get flowers at a much faster rate than any of this automated machinery will do it, you know? So, I was going to try and make this stuff nicer, you know, actually build, like, a facility here, maybe, like, a parking lot, you know, something like that, but I think I'm going to leave this as is for now, not really use any resources. Like, if this worked really well, I would put more time into it, but I think as it stands, I'm going to see if it even does anything when I'm outside of the area. I know this, uh, center suction cup is having some problems as well, so... Who knows? Who knows, guys? Uh, I just want to know. At this point, my main question is, will this work when I'm not in the area? All right, that's my main question right now. And the only way to check that is to, well, leave the area and come back and see what's up. Let me quickly check my quantities here. I believe it's 8 corn and 10 flowers. Yep, 10 up, oh, 10 corn. Okay, you know what? Let's just put this corn here. 13 corn in there. 14 flowers there. Perfect. Now we leave the area and just hope for the best. I don't think I'm going to be testing that in this episode. Uh, I don't necessarily want to leave my game running again, but we'll check up on that in another episode, 100%. I just kind of wanted to get it set up and start the testing. Alrighty, well, there we go, guys, back at base. Um, not sure what to tell you. I mean, I really wish I had better results, but the whole point of this is to kind of test things out, see what works. As it stands, guys, like, we have the resources for automation. I don't know why I'm running away. I don't know why I'm running away from my base. I'm just doing stuff. As it stands, we have resources to automate a bunch of processes, you know, like... We can automate planting, we can automate all of this other stuff, but it doesn't seem to be time efficient, guys. It seems like it's faster to just do it all by hand, you know? And even if you go and you focus on something else and you come back, well, not a whole lot has happened, you know? So even with uh, even with me picking up corn with my trailer there, it was way slower with the trailer. I had to stop, wait for the trailer to suck it up, move on to the next one. Meanwhile, I can do it all by hand in no time, in much, much less time. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see some changes there at some point. But in the meantime, you know, if you did want to build an automatic, uh, you know, flower collector or corn collector, then you know how to do it now. <laughs> Very simple, I'm not calling myself any kind of genius for figuring that out. There wasn't a whole lot to figure out, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys could make some improvements in my designs. So, <laughs> like I said, it was a very primitive way of just testing the concept. I didn't want to go too, too crazy and then just fail anyway and realize I put in so much work just to just to get at that point. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably a bit of a shorter one, but I wanted to follow up on my last video where I built this thing just to kind of show another potential way of making an automatic uh, corn and pigment flower collector, but also to demonstrate that it may or may not be more efficient than just to keep doing it by hand like we have been this whole time. Um, I would imagine the same thing happens with cotton. You know, cotton takes about five days to regrow and uh, we would just, we would experience the exact same thing. Unless they had like T pieces, like T pieces for vacuum tubes, which I don't think they do. Yeah, like we only have the straight piece and we only have the connect tool. I guess we could use like intermediary chests. It would be a very, very difficult and resource consuming system to basically make it so that a farm of cotton, for example, or like a field of cotton gets individually collected by vacuum pumps and all those vacuum pumps are linked one master chest and all you have to do is visit that master chest. Well, that seems like a lot of work for something that can be done a lot easier, you know, not to mention cotton can be grown on regular farms now, on regular soil plots, so there's really no need for that. Uh, the only thing that I can really think of once again is corn and pigment flowers. That'd be really nice because they do only come in like small clusters and because we can't really grow them on our own farms, uh, we can only venture out into the wild. So I wish there was an easier way to do it, but unfortunately there isn't guys, but that's okay. We tried and that's what matters. I think it's important to try even if you uh, don't think you're going to succeed because there's always, uh, there's always things you can learn from it. And with that said, you do have to go into situations expecting to succeed and if you fail, well, Oh well, you know, life goes on, things happen. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, please click the like button down below. It really helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. If you guys are not subscribed yet, subscribe with notifications on so that you can stay up to date with all the future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!